Well, today is November 11th. Today is the day we honor military men and women who served and continue to serve in the United States Armed Forces. And KITV 4's Aaron Coogan joins us now live at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific as we celebrate those individuals on this Veterans Day. Good morning, Aaron. Malako, good morning to you. Well, nearly 53,000 veterans have found their final resting place here at the Punchbowl National Cemetery. And as we celebrate and commemorate those who serve our country, we want to recognize that these are more than just service members. They are brothers, sisters, family members, and they all have stories beyond their time of service. And that's why we're joined with J uh, Joseph Tukovsky. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. You're, you've told the t story of your father, and that's why you're here today uh, on Veterans Day. Well, thank you, Aaron. I'm just... Uh... Very happy to be here to honor the men with whom my father served, especially the six that didn't make it home who died on Saipan back in 1944 that are buried here at the Punch Bowl. Your book that you've written um, has a big, plays a big part here in Hawaii. Tell me about the significance uh, of, of here. Indeed. Well, they trained here at Parker Ranch uh, before uh, shipping out for Saipan. So half the book deals with uh, island of, the big island of Hawaii. And just before they ship out, they made port here in Honolulu. And uh, one of the fellows who's buried here had a couple of buddies in the army at Schofield Barracks. And uh, they hooked up and got together and got drinking and decided it was a good idea to go AWOL and join the Marines for the invasion of Saipan. The significance of you telling your father's story is so much greater than just this, this single uh, event because, you know, it really signifies that not everyone feels comfortable sharing their stories, um, but you were able to share it after your father. Well, all of the men uh, who survived from the platoon were very grateful to talk to me, and I believe my being the son of their commanding officer made them open up and tell me stories that they had never told anyone before in their lives. And you say it's connected people from all over the world um, to this story. Correct. There are people who see the cover of the book, which is the platoon roster, my father's original platoon roster, and see their father's name, and they contact me. And uh, they tell me not much about their parents um, other than some intimate details of them after the war because they never spoke of the war. And one of the children said it finally answered the question that they'd been asking all their lives of what did you do in the war, Daddy? Joseph, thank you so much for joining me this morning. And again, we recognize and we celebrate and commemorate all those service members on this Veterans Day and every day. For now, reporting live at the Punch Bowl National Memorial, Aaron Coogan, KITV4 Island News. Good morning, Hawaii, and today, November 11th, we honor military men and women who served and continue to serve in the United States Armed Forces. And on this Veterans Day, KITV4's Aaron Coogan joins us at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. Aaron? Good morning to you, Maleko. Well, nearly 53,000 veterans have found their final resting place here at the Punchbowl National Cemetery. And I do want to mention that as we celebrate and commemorate those service men and women, we want to recognize that these are more than just members of the military. They are friends, fathers, brothers, sisters, parents, and grandparents. And they all have a story beyond their time of service. And that's why we're joined by Joseph Tukovsky. You've told the story of your father, and he, his service plays a big part in uh, here in Hawaii. Indeed, uh, his unit trained at the Parker Ranch, and it was a unique platoon of Marines. There are only two such units deployed in the Pacific during World War II, one for the Battle of Saipan and the previous one for Tarawa. So they were trained to live and work behind enemy lines for days and weeks at a time. You're taking this Veterans Day week and weekend to to honor all of those members that have served alongside your father. How, how does that make you feel? It's very impactful to uh, visit their resting places here in Hawaii. I've visited a lot of the graves back in the United States, but I wanted to get over here because these are the fellows who paid the ultimate price um, in service for their country. You've written a book about your father's journey, um, but it's never been told before because he, he didn't want us to talk about it. But tell me about the significance of you being able to publish that story. Well, it's very grateful to the surviving members of the platoon that really opened old wounds to discuss their service, telling me stories about my father that I never knew, and growing to know these old gentlemen, not only as 80-year-old men, 
but also as the 18, 19 year old fearless boys that uh, left home to go and uh, war in the Pacific. And his story has brought together people from all across the country. Um, how does it feel that knowing your book has, has brought together all these people? It's very, it's very strange, the kinship that uh, has been made with the children of other members of the 40 Thieves. Um, Al Yunker Jr., um, Steve Evans, Don Evans' nephew, all of these people that in researching the book, I learned about their fathers and uncles. And, uh, and that made us closer, even, we've never, even though we've never met before in our lives. This isn't the only stop you're making this weekend. Where else are you headed? Um, I'm headed to the Big Island to see Parker Ranch and uh, try to find the village of Polulu, which existed in the 1940s but doesn't exist anymore. And there's an episode in the book that uh, makes me more curious about that village. Joseph, thank you so much for sharing your story, your father's story. It means so much to us. And as we come back here, we recognize those veterans and those who are currently serving on this Veterans Day and every day. Reporting live from the National Punch Bowl Memorial, Aaron Coogan, KITV4, Island News.